Hello, remember the process server that came by to tell me to show up at court? Well, I ended up calling that phone number on the paper and the district attorney, assistant district attorney told me that I didn't have to go to court since I spoke with her. But I already had prepared the speech for the judge. Uh, what happened was a young man was going to move over here and he started yelling with, well, he, he arrived yelling at his mother, give me the phone, give me the phone, and she wouldn't give it to him. So she got in her car with grandma driving, grandma driving. And then she said, I love you, to her son, right? And he had the phone at that moment because I heard a bang. He threw it at the car. As soon as she, she said, I love you, wham, boom. He, he threw it at the car. Opinion, right? I didn't see him throw it. It would have been too fast anyway. I just heard the sound and then looked up. Well, Your Honor, I am here because I love these two persons. Uh, the mother of the kid and the kid that's 17 years old. Um, you see, Your Honor, my mother and I have had a thousand battles. I was eager to help this young man, my new friend. You see... I live across the street and I've been homeless before like this young man well he was moving in with a friend right another uh, a neighbor perhaps they can communicate only by email like my my other relative and I only communicate by email or they can stop communicating for a month until they cool down or or even for life I have another friend <laughs> I'm guessing he's 50 something he it could be 60 he doesn't talk to his mother at all she lives in Texas and he just stays away from her he lives here in Florida uh, your honor I have food water electricity laundry service dog cats a basketball hoop and conversation I'll teach him to be a good young man uh, yeah, I was just waiting, Your Honor, to uh, go say hello to him and tell him that dinner would be ready as soon as uh, the spouse, my spouse, arrived home. She usually brings food home from the school cafeteria. But I didn't get my chance because the police arrived after he threw the phone and, and they, I think they put him in jail or somewhere, juvenile jail. Oh well, the young man needs to learn that until he's 18 years old, nothing he has belongs to him. It belongs to his mother, cell phone or whatever. How different a society is, you know, just talking to you guys. The society is different. When I was 14 years old, actually when I was about 12, I cleaned the toilets at the Catholic Church. And all that money went to my mother. I never got a penny out of it. I was just, what, how many? I lasted maybe two, two months doing that. Uh, then at 14, I started working at the... Uh, I worked at a pizzeria, Caprice Pizza in Chicago, in South Chicago. And I burned the pizzas, and I couldn't really stay up past 10 o'clock at night. And I was forced to stay up until 1 o'clock in the morning. Uh, it was horrible the body was not prepared for that I didn't want to stay up that late and then of course the only money I kept was like the sodas I bought at the pizzeria like two dollars in sodas I didn't know sodas were bad for me and the rest of it all the $28 out of 30 that I would make a night that was two fifty an hour I think two dollars fifty cents an hour that would go to my mother oh well today's kids they say no if I get a job I keep my money which is good they should <laughs> I remember other kids uh, co-workers they, they actually bought watches and shoes and now like they took girls out on dates
I was amazed. One of them went to Europe and came back because he didn't like it. <laughs> oh well. That's the type of uh, childhood I want for my kids. I want them to have money and to make decisions about whether they go to Europe or they don't or how long they stay. Uh, make their own decisions. Well, I still haven't seen the kid, so he hasn't moved in. Well, he could still be in jail, who knows? Juvenile jail. All right. Why am I a good guy? Well, the more good guys help out, like the Christians, right? The more Christians help each other out, the less bad guys we have in the end. I understand why people steal though because they don't have enough food or they don't have enough this guy must be lost just like traveling back and forth with a mattress on his head on the top of the car I understand why people steal they must be like I, I, I met this other guy a while and and he said that they don't fire at his job either what they do is in the restaurant what they do he said is they give you a three-day suspension or they cut your hours from well nobody has 30 except the manager or more you know. oh they cut it from 30 to from 25 to 15 or something like that until you end up quitting but they don't fire anyone so oh well I told him not to steal anyway it's not stealing money by the way he is and indirectly uh, uh, not punching out when you go on break and things like that they have these time cards. I don't know what they have now. Maybe they're electronic eye scanners. Who knows? Ding! Yeah, okay, Daniel's on break. But, um. Well, I'll put. The, I don't want to talk too much about it. Uh, in the next. Right here. Uh, he said uh, that one co worker said he was the dishwasher. He was going to come back and shoot everybody. So they gave that guy a three-day suspension. And so the next day he did show up. He made his coffee as usual. And they told him, you got to punch out. You can't be here. For three days. And so this spouse spoke to this friend of mine. And uh, she said, he said, maybe I shouldn't go to work today. Because what if that guy goes back and shoots everybody? And so I told him, don't go to work. And the spouse says, go to work. Such so different advice from two different people. I wouldn't go to work. My coworker says, he's going to come back and shoot me. Well, don't go to work. I would even switch jobs. I had a coworker that switched jobs, and he said he had a gun pulled on him by Mr. So-and-so in apartment such and such. So he quit, wouldn't come back. Now, of course, Mr. So-and-so said he didn't pull the gun. But then I think he got arrested also, a rich guy. Well, that's, that's how come I, I was hired, but they told me this, not the security guards didn't tell me about it, it was the uh, valet guys that told me about it. <laughs> you know why you're here? because the other guy that used to work here you met him yeah I said I met him previously he has a twin brother doesn't he yeah he does have a twin brother <laughs> he said um, 
Yeah, that's why you're here, Daniel, because uh, Mr. So-and-so up there pulled the gun on him, and that security guard said he's not coming back to work here. So you're here. But then they told me he got a, the old man got arrested, so or not so old. 50's not old anymore. <laughs> All right, take care of yourself. Live alone so you can have a beautiful life. And visit your children on a daily basis. Take care.